good morning nope good afternoon everyone it is monday don't look at my messy bed y'all know i don't really my kids are always loud anyway my bed is always messy unless people are coming over don't guys know that don't judge me anyway what was i saying today is monday today is a holiday so i'm home from work and Guess what I'm going to do today, you guys? Guess, I bet you guys cannot guess. Bet you guys couldn't even guess. Okay, so you guys remember when I got these couches, right? The ones that have been subscribers for a long time. The day that we got rid of that um, sectional that was like super old and got the new ones. I totally love these because that side, that side, this one and this one recline. So this is my spot, right? Can you guys see something? I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. That's not on any of the other chairs. Well, that's kind of hard to see because of the lighting. Well, my spot where I sit, because of my hair products that I use, look how it's making the leather fade and get really like wonky looking. What do I do for that? Well, other than putting something over the chair, the way make sure my hair products won't get on it. What do you guys do to restore your leather? Or what can I do? Because that's gonna start looking really super bad. I mean, it does look bad, but if you just look like this, it's not that bad. But it's starting to bug me. What should I do? Okay, so before I do start my day of nothingness, I do read my Bible, you guys. I know I don't speak a lot about my religion or whatever like that. It's not that I'm hiding it or anything like that. This is a huge part of me. So I do try to read my Bible every day. Of course, I'm not perfect, but before I start my day of lounging, I have to give honor and reverence and thanks to God. Okay, you guys, so I'm sitting here and trying to find something to watch and I'm going back and forth from Hulu to Netflix to the Disney Plus. So I'm on Disney Plus and I'm like, okay, let me try to find something that I haven't seen or something like that. So I'm going through the cartoon list and I cannot believe I've never seen the three is a Cal Cabrillos with Donald Duck that's in it. And I've seen the cartoon over the years, meaning I knew about it, but I don't think, I don't ever remember actually watching it. Maybe I did as a little girl and just didn't remember it. So I'm watching it now. And yeah, I rolled the ride when I went to Disney World um, the Grand Fiesta Three Cabrillos. I'm sure that's not how you say it. Cabrellos. I don't know, something like that. Anyway, so I'm watching it now, and it's just going to be a day of doing nothing. Doing nothing. I have no plans today, you guys. Everyone is home, and we're all in our corners doing whatever we want. <laughs> Can't believe he's actually in here with me. I don't know why he likes to lay right there. He likes to lay right there, or either here, or it's always tucked in some corner. Not in his, he has a bed that we have, that I have over here on the floor. But he'd rather lay on the carpet or on the floor. Not in his own bed. Weirdo doggy. But I love you, Boston. Yes, I do. Want to say hi? Am I waking you up? Boston! Okay, let me leave him alone, guys. So Boston's not there, and I'm looking for him because I don't like him in the kitchen because he goes in the garbage. And look, you guys, the crate is wide open, and he chose to go lay in his crate. Let me show you guys. Oh, now you're going to get up because I'm coming? You're such a weirdo. You can come on out. Come on. Nobody's telling you you have to go in there. Do your dogs do that? If the crate's open, if you guys crate your dogs, he always does this. We'll look for him, and he's just in his crate, laying in there. Hey, Boston. Hey, Boston. Somebody needs another haircut and bath and everything, huh? Tell everyone hello. Say hello, guys. I prefer no ads, actually. Look who's been following me around, you guys. And that's because Savannah's not here. She and Cheyenne left to run some errands. And I am just home. But yeah, he's been following me around today. Soon as Savannah walks in the door, he's gonna be like, forget you, lady. Yeah, mm-hmm. You only love me because Savannah's not here. And then I'm your second love. Okay, so 
yes it's still the same day I just showered and changed back into regular pajamas of course because I'm not going anywhere today but then I should have waited because now I'm sweaty again because I was cleaning the kitchen like deep cleaning the kitchen and I'm not done yet yes I know you're there Boston I'm not done yet so I was washing the dishes and then I'm cleaning the oven and I say I'm, I'm still in the process of cleaning it because I do this every single time I usually like to preheat the oven that way it's a little bit warm and easier to clean but no I get so gun ho and I spray it and I don't want to heat up the oven now because the smells will be too strong huh Boston the smells will be too strong so I'm just gonna let everything sit in there a little bit longer that way um, it can do what it needs to do and I'm not using the oven tonight so I'll probably just like clean it this evening because it's really bad you guys that's so embarrassing either I wait too long or we're just I'm just messy when I cook I think it's a little bit of both but um yeah so that's still working and I just decided to sit down and take a break next is the, the refrigerator you know how you go through and clean out your refrigerator and wipe it down and all that jazz so that's what I'm going to do next and I was going to do a clean with me excuse me I was go I was going to do a clean with me video kitchen edition or whatever but I decided not to because I didn't feel like getting dressed all that stuff I am in my pajamas and you guys when I'm in my pajamas I don't show my full body because I just don't you guys don't need to see that anyway um yeah I thought my day of nothingness was going to be nothing but I'm actually cleaning and I like cleaning when the kids are not here because no one's here to mess up my clean my clean until they come back the phone keeps ringing scam likely yeah I'm gonna answer okay. that so refrigerator is all cleaned out um, cleaned out the cupboards straightened about put it that way and did all this, the tidying up in the kitchen um, tidied up in the living room I swept I vacuumed the only thing I did not do is mop because you guys know how I feel about that and well if, for you guys who don't know I only mop at night when everyone's asleep because I absolutely hate people walking on my wet floor I don't care if they have socks on I don't care if the socks are clean don't walk on my floors until they are completely dry anyway um, the only thing I have not finished yet completely is the stove because I'm doing the cold cleaning which I forgot to turn on the oven to heat it up I would have been able to clean it faster my hands are really dry anyway um just thinking of what else I can clean I'm totally in a cleaning mood it's probably because I've been watching clean with me videos on YouTube those really inspire and it's like oh let me get up and clean um, I'm trying to think what needs to be deep clean since I am I'm deep cleaning right now so I actually I might you guys know how, how I have Ray done in my kitchen so I do wipe them off every now and then I think I need to take them down and like give them a good washing with soap and water even though the ones that I don't use I have it up here and these don't really get too dusty I do clean these off um, occasionally so this right here um, I may take it down and give it a good cleaning with soap and water and this right here you guys I don't actually use none of these this is just for decoration purposes only so I might actually take them down see how sometimes things splatter on them when we're doing the dishes or something like that so they're dusty so I may take these down and actually clean them with soap and water and the same with the ones back there Whew, yeah okay let me do it now before I don't want to okay so I took them all down and I basically just have to rinse them with water and wipe them down because like I said I don't use them at all and they were really dusty like around here I don't know why so yeah now I'm about to put it back on here and then I'll do the bottom so I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera but look how dusty this is yeah it's my teapot isn't it so cute you guys remember when I was like completely obsessed like crazy obsessed with Ray Dunn now it's just like 
Eh, yeah, I got it. Been there, done that. I'm not done completely wiping down the counter, but that right there and these, they weren't too bad. I mean, it was dusty, yes, but not really bad. And yes, I do have the Let's Eat bowls there. Just for decoration, I do have plenty of Ray Dunn that we actually use. So this is what you see out. This is what I never use. However, this side right here, even though it's not in direct contact with the stove, the top was still really dusty and had a film of grease on it. So this I just completely took apart and soaked everything and washed it. And also this right here, this was very like dusty and it had a film of grease right there that you really couldn't see, but you can feel it. So yeah, I did that. Okay, so I'm clearly not done cleaning the oven. I have to scrape a lot more of that up to get it clean, but this will teach me not to wait so long to clean my oven. My back is hurting and I need a break. So yeah i'm gonna spray some more of the oven cleaner on there and let it sit hey everyone it is friday it is after work and it's not even eight o'clock and i'm really super tired but i'm gonna go lay down in my room but before i do i wanted to show you guys something so my kids actually turn off the fan we work all up in here so my kids actually bought me some flowers look at this you guys let me show you they know that sunflowers are my favorite. Sunflowers are my favorite. And these are totally real. And they smell so good. So yeah, they got me sunflowers. And it really goes well with the purple. It looks really good. In addition to that, they know me. They bought me a purse. It's really super cute. And I haven't even taken this paper off yet. Oh, I thought it was tassels. Anyway, I'll take it off later and show you guys. Got me a card, but look at the purse. It's super cute. I haven't even opened everything yet, you guys. And the zip part right here, which is um, still has all the tags on and everything. So I'll show you guys later. And then a card. And I'm not going to read the card or anything like that, but it did make me cry. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Not very easy. It just says, appreciate you. And I'll just read to you a little bit on the inside. Um, it said, for your kindness, your thoughts, and all the special things you do, you're the best. And then they all signed it. And then they gave me a $20 Starbucks gift card. It was funny because when I seen it, I'm like, woohoo, $500 worth of coffee. And Cheyenne was like, um, I don't think so, mom. So anyway, yeah, they gave me those, um, just because, um, gift. Y'all know I've been like dealing with, well, I haven't really told you guys in depth, just dealing with some personal issues or whatever. Haven't really vlogged a whole lot, but that really brightened my day and I sobbed like a big old baby, but y'all look. Look at my sunflowers. And I had to put it here in the living room where we are every day. That way I can look at them. Because they're gorgeous. Uh, it is super early. And I'm telling you, I'm really tired. I'm about to take this hair off. And jump in the shower. And that might be it for me for tonight. I know I haven't vlogged or anything. I haven't been really vlogging, I know you guys. So I took all the paper off and everything to show you guys. And at first I thought this was like a tassel, but it's just like a little clip, it's a lock on it, a key, and then just this little tag that says Aldo, Aldo. So it's super cute. Thank you again, kids. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. Like my look? Yeah, neither do I, but I'm not going anywhere today. So here I am, take it or leave it. Anyway, I was up super early. Okay, it's nine o'clock right now. So last night when I was talking to you guys and I was telling you it was almost eight o'clock, I'm about to go to bed. I actually believe it was earlier than that. I don't know. But after I showered and laid down, I slept through the whole night. I was so exhausted, so tired. 
So I woke up maybe around 5 or 5.30, wide awake. And I'm like, well, why not get up? So I got up, brushed my teeth, washed my face, started doing laundry, cleaned the kitchen, which wasn't that dirty. I just straightened up, wiped down the countertops, straightened out the living room, because that's what I was actually going to do last night, but I fell asleep. So yeah, I probably will be sleeping a couple hours. I don't know, maybe because I'll get tired. I don't know, but anyway, I am up and I'm just sitting here watching This Is Us on Hulu, just catching up on some episodes. So yeah, you guys, it's up at 5 a.m. Cleaning house. I have no life. Y'all, look at Heather. Um, From this angle, it looked like she's thriving, but look at the ends, you guys. Look at the inside of the plant. She ain't doing so good. Yeah, and I set my alarm for every Saturday to water it once a week. And I don't know, maybe, I know they told me it doesn't need sun, but maybe I should put it somewhere closer where the sun could get it. I don't know, you guys, I am just not good at plants. I kill everything. Look at that. I'm pretty sure it should not be brown on the inside like that. That should be green. Surprise this thing isn't dead. Tom Boston, what are you doing in the kitchen? Get out. Go. You know better. But on a happy note, look what is beautiful and thriving. Well, that's just because I got it last night. These sunflowers are gorgeous, you guys. I love them so much. You guys already know that, though. I could just stare at this all day long. These are gorgeous. Beautiful. Huh, Boston? Yeah, you're following me around because Savannah's not home, huh? Yeah, you guys, Savannah and Cheyenne, they are not here. They went to the store. And this one won't leave my side. But if Savannah was here, you'd be nowhere near me. So today's Sunday. It's after church. And I'm actually in the living room watching um, the trials of Gabriel Fernandez. And I'm crying. I'm upset and angry. Um, it's on Netflix. It's um, like a mini series and it happened in a LA County really close to the town where my mom lives in anyway the mom and her boyfriend they killed this eight-year-old kid tortured him made him sleep in a they called it the box which was a dresser cabinet that you know underneath and just the unspeakable acts they did to a child I yeah have you guys seen that it's called the trials of Gabriel Fernandez and it's it's pretty sad good morning it is today is Wednesday and I am ready for work it's just it's early so I'm just sitting here watching TV and then I start hearing like um, noise in the living room and I'm like what's going on are they up that early they meaning Savannah <laughs> And I go in the living room, and this is what I find. Okay, so she slept in the living room, which is no big deal at all. We do it from time to time. Well, I do it from time to time on the weekends. If I just happen to fall asleep watching a movie, and it's like 2 or 3, I just stay there because my couches are really really comfortable if you guys ever came over and sat in the couch trust me you will fall asleep it's that comfortable so anyway that's not bugging me it's the fact that I gotta go to work and she's in my spot because y'all know I'm the queen and that's the queen's chair and yeah nice and comfortable the fan going y'all may think we're crazy but the fan is fans are always on in this house it just is the only time my fan is really off is if I'm sick then I'll turn it off and that way, you know, I won't get sicker. But I don't know, fans are always on and I raise my kids to be the same way. So it's just, maybe it's just the sound of the fan going. I don't know, but it's just so comforting just having a fan on. Anyway, I said all that to say that I'm very upset right now. <laughs> Not really, but I gotta go to work and she's in my spot. And it's funny because when I first went into the living room, I was also looking, I'm like, I knew Boston was in there and okay so let me go back when we first got Boston I let him sleep and get on one spot on my couch as long as there was like 
a blanket there because you know sometimes dogs scratch and you know his nails my, my couches are leather and I didn't want them messed up so I would do that and even though that really I, I'm not a fan of dogs on the couch and that's just me personally some of you may feel differently which is okay but I'm not a total fan of it on my couches put it that way so it just started bugging me because he wouldn't just jump in the couch, of course, and just lay there. He would jump in the couch. He would scratch around. He would do what dogs do. And you can't blame him or be mad because he's like rubbing his ear or doing like this or trying to get things comfortable for himself. So I made him start sleeping on his bed on the floor or whatever like that. He does have a bed that's comfortable that he could sleep in. It's just not the couch, right? So... Boston knows he's not supposed to be on the couch anymore because we had we broke him of that so anytime we are in the living room he won't get on the couch but sometimes and it's happened to me if we are not in the living room for a long time and he's roaming the house or whatever I'll go in the living room and he's on the couch and then he sees me I look at him I'm like Boston and it's like he'll get scared and he'll jump and he'll get down so he knows so when I went in there for he was laying in the spot next to Savannah and I said Boston Boston and he just looked up like yes can I help you and all sleepy and I'm like get down from the couch and he jumped down and was like Ur -ur. and he was whining like I hit him or something and but it's like dude you know better so yeah dogs are just like kids sometimes try to take advantage but yeah I don't let him sleep on the couch anymore because um yeah I just don't so yeah I haven't really vlogged a whole lot so I'm trying to vlog today even though I'm just going on and on about random stuff but here you go hi guys so it's much later and yeah I know I never vlogged in this um position before I am in my room yes I'm sitting on the floor I was folding my towels and I put them in there I'm not quite done but I decided to bring the camera out take a break because non-stop doing laundry and just trying to straighten up things so I just wanted to bring the camera out and talk to you guys for a minute so I promise you guys I mean I'm trying to get back to the happy Michelle, the Michelle that wants to blog, the Michelle that blogs when I go out places. But I promise you guys I'm not depressed. I'm not. I'm not depressed. But life is so crazy right now and there's a lot going on and I'm just, I'm focusing on getting that together and I'm trying to keep it together without falling apart. If that makes any sense. So... I'm just living day to day and I'm trying you guys I'm, I'm really trying maybe one day I will be able to tell you guys what's going on maybe I will maybe I won't I don't know but for right now I'm not I am just trying to deal and I'm looking because you can see my hair up on the counter there um, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to deal, trying to survive, trying to get out of this situation that I'm in. And yeah, so for you guys that have been watching us for a long time, loyal supporters, thank you so much for sticking in there with me. Please bear with me. I, I promise you, I'm, I'm trying to get it together. I, I'm trying. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to end this video because I don't know how much is on here. I don't know what is on here. I know I haven't been vlogging a lot just here and there. Random stuff. Probably it's all over the place, not making any sense. Sorry, it's not exciting. Yeah. But that's my life right now. It's not exciting. So... I don't want to just stop vlogging and completely I do enjoy vlogging and sharing areas of my life but um, I've told you guys not everything is meant for the internet so um, like I said maybe I will or will not share everything that's going on so let me finish folding these towels so I can get off the floor and 
I don't know, probably just sit in my bed. I've actually have been reading on my Kindle, you guys. Yeah, I've been reading and I remember I told you guys, if you guys remember, um, I want to start reading more. So when I read, I play the my record player. That way I can have some music in the background, stuff like that. So I think I'm just going to do that. I haven't been really doing anything, you guys, at all. I mean, life is just different right now. Life is different and just going through some, a lot of changes. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all pray for me. When y'all think about where is the Shell Bell life? And we miss seeing her and she doesn't vlog anymore. Just, just send a prayer for me. I will accept all prayers. I accept it all because I need them right now. So yeah. All right, you guys, I love you. Thank you for your continued support. I am trying to get it together, and that's it for now. <laughs>